Welcome everybody to part 4E of Adventures in XNA. In this segment what we're going to be doing is creating our first menu. Uh, this is going to be really only one way to make a menu and, and not necessarily even the best way but it should be a, enough to help get you started so you can kind of uh, get an idea of how to do it and uh, you can go from there. And of course we'll, we'll fine tune it as well as we uh, you know progress in the series but for now we're just going to do a very simple menu uh, set up our menu graphics and this will consist of three separate classes we're going to have a menu graphics class and a menu entry class which is very small and simple and then our actual menu screen so if you haven't uh, watch the uh, preceding videos before this one uh, you might want to go back and do that or at least download the source code from the last video so you can follow along I am going to start out by going over to my solution explorer and um, I'm going to go to my main project and right click and add a new folder and how, how you choose to keep track of all these objects that we create is really up to you. Um, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible but uh, you may have a better way of organizing so again that's really up to you. Uh, so I'm going to create a, whoops, I wanted to call it menus. So I have a, a new folder called menus and in this folder I'm going to store uh, constructors for our menus, not the actual menus themselves. Our actual menus are going to be screens and so I'm going to store those down here in our screens list. And I'm actually going to right click on our screens folder in our screen manager folder and add another folder. Again, I'm going to call it menus. Just a, you know, by the time you're done with your game you may have dozens of various screens and menus and other things so you know I'm just trying to keep it organized here so let's go ahead and go back up to our first menus folder that we created and we're gonna add two new classes to this uh, the first one is going to be our menu entry class and this will store this class will actually you know be the constructor for our menu entries each line in our menu that we can select so I'm gonna whoops <laughs> getting ahead of myself here uh, I'm gonna call this menu entry <coughs> and so we have a public class menu entry uh, since this is so uh, short and simple and uh, Really, I mean, you could you could add some complexity to it if you wanted, but I'm just going to say public enabled as boolean equals true. All right. So by default, our new menu entries will be true. Uh, so this this public variable will um, allow us to specify whether or not an entry in our menu is enabled or whether it's kind of grayed out and inaccessible. So next up we are going to say, and there goes my B button again, uh, text. And this will be the actual string that is stored for a menu value. Uh, might be new game or options or continue journey or something like that. So this string we're just going to set as a blank and when we construct a new menu we can add some entries to that. That's really all there is to the men menu entry for now so uh, let's go ahead and add yet another class to our menus folder. And this one I'm going to call menu gfx. And the reason I'm adding this as a separate class, uh, because we want to make this uh, reusable. That's the lovely thing in our uh, object-oriented programming is that we can create all these objects and reuse them so we don't have to keep typing the same code over and over and over again. And when it comes to the graphics of the menu, 
um, you know that that can get really tiresome having to recreate that so it's best to just create it once uh, because there's a lot of intricate parts you have to pretty much you know tell it where to draw every segment of your menu graphics you know like the top left corner or any borders or images that you want to use background images um, <clears throat> all sorts of things plus it'll allow us to actually sort of create a, a custom uh, menu allowing you know we can do things like that you know tell it whether we want a background or not you know maybe you don't maybe you just want text on the screen that's selectable but you don't actually want a background to it so um, there are numerous things that you can do there and I will get around to showing you that here very shortly finally let's go ahead and create our last class and that is going to be the actual screen so this is the menu this is what's actually going to show up on our screen it's going to be handled by our screen manager so uh, if you recall from the previous videos we are going to inherit our um, inherit from our base screen again so this particular menu is going to be our main menu so I'm just going to name this this class main menu and it is going to be a screen so uh, we'll say inherits base screen so now we're ready to start populating uh, this class with some more goodies to uh, define it uh, how we want our menu to display on the screen and all that fun stuff <coughs> So let's set up our constructors here. First off, we're going to add private entries as a new list of menu entry. Okay. So it's going to create a list of menu objects based upon this menu entry class that we created. All right. Secondly, we will say private menu select as integer equals zero. And that will help us uh, track our menu selections. Then we are going to actually set some um, sizes and positions for our menu. And this part uh, this is something that in the future you will most likely end up changing because um, you're gonna you're probably going to want to be able to do this a little more dynamically than we will be at first and I'll show you what I mean here uh, let's go ahead and just do menu size and this is very specific to this screen and that's why we're not probably normally going to do this so I'm just going to say a new vector 2 this is just for the sake of demonstration and private menu position as a new vector 2 and I will say 130 by 280 so you should kind of be able to uh, see what's going on here the size of our menu will be 250 pixels wide by 160 pixels tall and our menu position on the screen will be 130 pixels over and 280 down so that should uh, sort of center that up in our title screen you know, that we had before we should be able to actually run that and see our see our old title screen here so what I want to do is kind of put this right in here uh, that's what I'm going for anyway. We'll see what we can do. 